Good morning. This is Pastor Bo Wagner for the Higher Grounds Podcast Morning Minute Meditation. In 2 Kings chapter 21, we're introduced to the wicked king of Judah known as Manasseh. He ruled longer than any other king of Judah, 55 years, and it was almost all completely bad. There was one small portion at the end of his life when he humbled himself before the Lord, but basically his 55 years were filled with bloodshed, violence, and disaster. After his death, his son Ammon took the throne, and he walked in the way of his father Manasseh, just as wicked, just as horrible. Some of his servants slew him in his own home. And it is then that the people of the land rose up and slew the people that killed their king, Ammon. But something very unusual happened after that. Most of the time when a king was slain, his entire line was slain along with him, and somebody else took the throne from a completely different family. But they left Josiah, his eight-year-old son, alive, and the people of the land turned and put him on the throne. That is incredibly rare in history. Why in the world did they leave Josiah alive, and why did they put him on the throne after having deposed Ammon and after having suffered through Manasseh? Well, the very next chapter tells us that Josiah sought after the Lord with all his heart, followed in the ways of his fathers. That would include notable giants like David and Hezekiah and Uzziah. In other words, because of his righteousness early and often, people saw something in him worthy of both sparing and following. You cannot overestimate how important it is to do right early, often, and ever. There may be more riding on it than you think. People are watching everything that we do, say, preach, teach. Do right, and the impact you have may save you and others somewhere down the line. This has been Pastor Bo Wagner for the Morning Minute Meditation from the Higher Grounds Podcast. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.